Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report, your look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. This week we are reporting from the Uptown Theater in Midtown Kansas City, where Mayor Sly James is delivering his annual State of the City Address. Take a look at the luggage that I've been told to take around. Trinkets and milestones, but the best that I have found are the blessings and the proverbs. No, not some words, but the faces of loved ones now. Haven't you heard of Kansas City? Baby, what could I do? I'm heartsick when I'm leaving it, but I'm coming home soon. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, we thank you for the leadership of Sly James, because, Lord, we know the leadership in this great city of Kansas City, Missouri, is the anchor for the entire metropolitan area. And the success of this city is the success of all of us. Like our World Series champion Royals, we've got momentum and we're keeping the line moving. We're able to do so in part because of leaders who made tough decisions a generation or more ago. Those leaders took bold steps to address big issues in order to make Kansas City better. Fifty years ago, when the city was floundering financially, City leaders decided that an earnings tax was a fair and equitable financial foundation to stabilize this great city that we enjoy today. This city, any city that wants to be the best it can for its citizens, must remain focused on the future and recognize that we are all part of one Kansas City. And I love you, dear, but just not now. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Naughty Pines with special guest, Mayor Sly James. Thank you for attending the State of the City Address. Now let's check in with some more of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation. Join us as we celebrate springtime and warm weather with a variety of spring-related programs and events. The annual Project Blue River Rescue takes place Saturday, April 2nd from 8 a.m. to noon at Lakeside Nature Center in Swope Park. Volunteers of all ages and abilities are needed to help clean up the Blue River. T-shirts, work gloves, tools, and trash bags will be provided. Visit lakesidenaturecenter.org for more information. A holiday unique to Kansas City, Fountain Day, will be celebrated on Tuesday, April 12th at 11 a.m. On this day, all of Kansas City's public fountains will turn on for the season. This year's Fountain Day festivities will take place at the newly renovated Volker Fountain in Tice Park. Join KC Parks as we admire the return of the Brush Creek Waterfall Fountain, refurbish sculptures, and honor our City of Fountains supporters. Following the ceremony, stick around for lunch as a number of food trucks will be on site to kick off a new fundraiser for our fountains, the Feast of Fountains. Check out our KC Parks Community Centers for free during Discover Day on Saturday, April 23rd. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., three of KC Park's 10 community centers, Greg Kleiss, Southeast, and Line Creek, will offer free admission and activities for all. In addition, you can purchase an all-access pass at a very reduced price. Visit kcparks.org for a complete calendar of Discover Day events and all-access pass details. 2015 was a championship year for our city and for Kansas City Parks and Recreation. And you can read all about it by downloading the Year in Review, which is now available online at caseyparks.org. 
To learn more about these or other events Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Most of the time, this is what the Blue River looks like, water following the channel to the Missouri River. But longtime residents remember when a rainstorm would send these calm waters over the Blue River's banks. Uh, we were flooded in 1990. Uh, John Patrick, president of Clay and Bailey, a manufacturing company alongside the Blue River, remembers the anxiety. Prior to the channel being completed, uh, we had a network of, of businesses that would if it's raining hard, we'd come out in the middle of the night, go down to the bridges, look at the staff gauges, report back to each other, do we need to start pulling equipment? Their offices are six feet off the ground. A watermark inside remains from a flood in 1990. That same storm created a lake outside the former GM plant on Stadium Drive. It was one of the many floods that ravaged the area for decades. Thankfully, that's a problem of the past. In 1983, construction began on the 12-mile-long channel from near the mouth of the Missouri River upstream to 63rd Street. The channel was uh, widened, it was uh, deepened, it was um, straightened out to help get water flowing through. Casey Water worked with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to develop a plan to minimize flood risk to the area and with the Blue Valley Industrial Association, the Kansas City Industrial Council, and the Missouri and Associated Rivers Coalition and others to ensure city and federal funding continued to complete the project. Waterways Division Manager Linda Hoffman praises the group effort. I, I think that the partnership that we have formed um, and the extreme involvement of our stakeholders, uh, not only with the city, but with the Corps of Engineers throughout this entire process is a model um, for the rest of the, the U.S. Among the accomplishments of this $300 plus million dollar investment, the floodplain was lowered six to eight feet, reducing the flooding risk to the 68,000 workers in the Blue Valley. The historical Civil War era Byram's Ford was preserved and a new walking biking trail was created alongside the river. After 32 years, the work is now complete. After the channelization has been complete, we all sleep a lot better. They're seeing a great improvement. Um, the economy's growing. Businesses are moving back into the area. Um, and it's, it, it's been a win-win for all. A month-long celebration begins Friday, April 1st with Blue Friday. For a full list of activities, go to kcwaterservices.org. Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to tell you about the upcoming spring events taking place at your Kansas City facilities. Mark your calendar for Kinky Boots and Musical, winner of six 2013 Tony Awards, including Best Musical, at the Kansas City Music Hall April 5th through 10th. A heartwarming true story of Charlie Price, who has suddenly inherited his father's shoe store factory, which is on the verge of bankruptcy, and finds it's up to him to keep the business alive. Charlie finds inspiration in the form of Lola, a fabulous entertainer in need of some sturdy stilettos. As they work to turn the factory around, this unlikely pair finds that they have more in common than they ever dreamed possible. For ticket information, go to Ticketmaster.com. On April 14th, more than 2,000 area students will converge on Bartle Hall for the iBuild Showcase, an annual event which brings students together for an opportunity to actively connect with industry professionals. This program demonstrates the wide array of careers that are connected to the construction industry, such as skilled craftsmen, architects, engineers, marketing consultants, accountants, construction managers, and more. Go to nice-kc.com for additional information. Eat, drink, and help feed Kansas City's hungry at the 20th Annual Forks and Quirks in the Grand Ballroom at the Kansas City Convention Center. Now in its 20th year, 
Harvesters, Forks and Corks is an exciting evening featuring gourmet food and wine from more than 50 of Kansas City's finest restaurants and beverage purveyors, each offering their signature dishes and their finest wines. Proceeds from this event go to benefit the hungry in our community. For tickets and additional information, go to harvesters.org. To learn more about events taking place at Kansas City's convention and entertainment facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. The Blue River has played a major role in Kansas City's history and this month the Kansas City Water Services Department is celebrating a major milestone when it comes to controlling the floodplain. Water Services will be hosting a series of special events throughout the month to celebrate this milestone including the annual Project Blue River Rescue Cleanup on Saturday, April 2nd, also the Blue River Education Day at the Kansas City Zoo on Saturday, April 16th and the Revolving Green Around the Blue Family Cycling Event on Saturday, April 30th. You can find more information about these events and all the events at kcwaterservices.org. To view this program again or any other Channel 2 videos, just go to our website, kcmo.gov, and search Channel 2. That page has a link to our YouTube channel plus a program guide. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. From the Uptown Theater, I'm Chris Hernandez.